Hello YouTubers, now in this video I'll be covering the example called Wi-Fi access point which is in the files examples into ESP8266 Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi access point. Okay, watching this video you will be able to know that how you can convert ESP8266 into a server, how you can create the web pages so that uh, anyone connected with this server can load the web pages installed in this ESP8266 how you can create a local server for controlling the LEDs in, uh, in the local area network. So this is something you want to learn in this today's video. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, let me brief you what is this example about. Uh, uploading this example will create a local HTTP server with the IP address 192.168.4.1 which is already mentioned here. This, is, so this will create a local server at port 80 who's, uh, and we can connect to this server with the host name and password as ESPAP and the password is there is no spoon. So this is uh, how the server will be created so we can connect to this. Okay, so after connection when we open the uh, its address or the local address, the local IP address is 192.168.4.1 will get a HTML page in which it will be written as you are connected. So this is it about uh, this code. So I have a little bit modified the code uh, or I have added one more page so that uh, you can come to know that how to create pages, how to make it more interactive. So let's see my edited version of this code. Okay, so this is the edited version. Okay, so let us see this code line by line. First of all, the three necessary declaration of the libraries ESP266, Wi-Fi.h, Wi-Fi client.h and Wi-Fi web server.h. Okay, so again now now here it is uh, asking again for SID and password but this is, uh, but this time it is different. Earlier we were entering the SID name and password of our router. Now in this we need to enter the SID name and password as per our choice. We can write any of the name because now we are going to connect devices with this server because this is a server we are going to connect the devices with this. So you can edit this according to your ease. Then we have to create a server or the VSP8266 web server class will create an object called server and will establish the server at port 80 which is mentioned in the brackets. Then character HTML, basically uh, this is an HTML page. Uh, actually, I don't know HTML uh, language, but I have uh, copied from the different website. You, are, you can easily get this uh, sample HTML code from the different websites. So this is the HTML page. We'll see what does this displays in further. Okay, now this is, there are two functions. One is void handle root and one is page one. Void handle root is the function now this function is called whenever we are going into the root root means the main page main page is 192.168.4.1 so whenever the uh, this link is requested within the local area connection of this ESP8266 server it will uh, call this function okay so what does this function do is the server dot send it will send the server uh, 200 is the what we can say the response code 200 means a su uh, successful response code then this is the uh, basically the format the format in which we are sending the response so it's basically a plain text we are sending in response so the second parameter is like this and third parameter is the actual data which is HTML and which is declared or which is defined in the above Okay, so whenever we are requesting the link, it will be sending this HTML page in response to the device, whichever is, whomsoever is requesting this link. So after that, there is a page one, which is which I have created. So I have attached a link in the default page or the root page to go to the page one. So whenever we click on go to the page one, it will redirect you to the next page. So as soon as you click on the go to page one, this function, this void page one will be called and again 200 means successful communication and plain text again we are sending a plain text and what to send is this HTML page we need to send. So after uploading we will see uh, the response and that will make you uh, more clear about this code. Okay, going through the setup, initial delay, then uh, establishing a serial communication at the default 115200 baud rate. After that configuring as an access point, Wi-Fi dot soft AP. Uh, until now you have seen that Wi-Fi dot begin. Wi-Fi dot begin is used to connect our ESP board to other router. While Wi-Fi dot soft AP will create an access point. 
so that others can connect to this uh, access point with this SSID name and password. Okay, so then uh, again it will uh, be displaying the IP address. Earlier it was Wi-Fi dot local IP. Now it says Wi-Fi dot soft uh, access point IP or soft AP IP. So this is the I, I, uh, what you can say IP address. Now here are the functions which will handling the page. So server dot on function takes two parameters. One is uh, the input and other is the output. So basically, one is input and other is output. So, on the first server dot on, what is written is that server dot on, double inverted comma, forward slash. So, forward slash means the root of the page. That is, uh, uh, you can you you must have observed that whenever we type any uh, website address that like Google dot com, that that automatically creates a forward slash in the end. Basically, that's the root page. So, what this statement is saying that whenever it finds the root page. Uh, what he need to do is go to the handle root function which is this function okay now the next we are reading the next line it will make you more clear server dot on inverted commas slash one so whenever slash one is uh, requested from any of the devices then go to page one and likewise you can create many more such pages like slash two then go to page two slash three then go to page three so likewise uh, right now we will also create a button to toggle the inbuilt LED of the ESP266 that will make me more clear about this but let's uh, end the code first of all okay so this is the server dot on uh, server dot on function is only for redirecting the users to different pages after that we are beginning the server and the S it is written as HTTP server started in the void loop function it is written as server dot handle client so this function will est will uh, what you can say handle all the clients which are communicating with this ESP266 module. So this is it about the code. Uh, first I will upload it and then I will modify it for this uh, little LED. Okay, it shows HTTP server started with IP address 192.168.4.1. So we'll connect uh, our device. So let's connect this laptop only with this ESP AP. I already entered the password so it uh, didn't ask me for that. Okay, so I will go ahead and open the page 192.168.4.1 Okay, as you can see that uh, this is the HTML page uh, I got in response. Now this is same page which I have written here. I can I will show you now. So for ESP8266 tutorials, visit techasms.com and uh, a link is there to go to page one. So this is a web page I got in response whenever I request uh, when I requested this this IP address or we can say this is the root of this server. Now I, if I want to go to page one, I will just click here or I can type as slash one. Both us both will be same. So just click on go to page one. Okay, so I got the page one which is techasms explore let share. And this is what was written inside the page one. Okay, this is the page one, and here is the heading and SMS, and heading two is explore, learn, share. So these are the web pages which I got in response. Now let's create another web page to toggle the inbuilt LED of this ESP8266. So first of all, in the setup, we will be defining the LED as output LED built in comma output. Then we'll be creating another function called as toggle so we will toggling digital right led built-in comma digital read led underscore built-in and it's not this will toggle the led and we will be sending them some response will sending the same page as a response copy and paste okay now we have to create a button so that this page so when we need to call the toggle function we have to define here server dot on on receiving what on receiving slash toggle what we need to call is the toggle function simple now we need to add a button now the code of the button i have copied from this website okay this is the code for the html code for the button so i will just add the button uh, on the main page or the root page only 
and uh, the button text I will be turning into toggle LED and the link will be slash toggle or rather than only toggle okay here you need to add the backslashes okay so now uploading this code so what I have did is I have created a toggle button on the main page or the root page. So whenever I press that button, it will it will go into the root slash toggle page. And in and whenever that the toggle page is called, my toggle function will be activated or will be called. And in the toggle page, I have what I did is just uh, inverted the logic of the LED. If it is on, make it off. If it is off, make it on. And again, after making this uh, on and off, again call the root page. So this is what I did. Now let's test that it is working or not. So it is already connected with my ESP Wi-Fi only, ESP AP. So I will just go to the root page. Uh -huh. Hang, hang, hang. Google Chrome is not responding. Okay, now it is responding. So I go to the root page. Okay, so as you can see that now I have a link which is says which says the go to page and another button which says toggle LED. So I will press and let observe this LED. Okay, as you can see that it turned off. Again, I am pressing this button. Okay, it turned on and the page is gone. <laughs> okay, it will refresh and reload that same page. Oh, that's something in my laptop. Rather, I will show you in my phone. It is better to show it in phone. Uh, actually, I, you won't be able to see, but uh, you can trust on me that I'm all. I'm pressing this toggle LED button. So I'll press this button. Okay, it's toggle, and again I will press. It turned off again. Okay, turned on again. Come on. press on press off so this is how uh, so this is what is happening this is a server and this is a client which is connected with this server and the server are uh, you know continuously sending the web pages according to the request of the client so this is it about the, this code hope you got some basic idea about how to create an ESP266 server how to send the web pages how to handle the clients how to create a local uh, ho or local server local area connections so this is it about this video Subscribe my channel for next such upcoming uh, tutorial series. Till then, explore, learn, share with me. Thank you, SMS.